Jesus entered Jericho. Take note how in his itinerary, Jesus did not just walk around in Jerusalem or places where he could be found, uh, places where the scribes could be found, uh, places where men of theology and learning could be found. But in his, in his plans and in his itinerary, you could read quite extensively throughout the Gospels that Jesus went to places where no one wanted to be. Now, Jericho was such a place. Upon entering Jericho, the Bible says he passes by. Now, there was a man there. And allow me to say, allow me to just have this license in verse 2 to say, when the Bible points out to a man, the man obviously did not live alone. There were other men in Jericho that were far morally worse than Zacchaeus. But the writer chooses to zoom in on Zacchaeus, ignoring all of these other men that were obviously there. And therefore, it would be incorrect for us to read the text and assume that Zacchaeus was the only person that had a moral nature that was compromised. There were others in Jericho that were far worse. The Bible then says two things. Number one, he was wealthy, but number two, he was short in terms of physical stature. It is not just a physical stature that we are talking of here, but even internally, the man was compromised in that the man did not grow, spiritually speaking, that is. Now take note because the Bible says that it was packed, and because it was packed, Zacchaeus was unable to see Jesus Christ because of the men that were overwhelmingly taller than he was. The Bible then says, Zacchaeus finds a sycamore tree and then he then decides in his mind that he will climb the sycamore tree because he wants to see Jesus. Now what Zacchaeus did not know is that he did not climb the tree in order to see Jesus but he climbed the tree in order for Jesus to see him and therefore the, the, the key factor here was not in Zacchaeus bringing himself closer to divinity, but it was in divinity positioning itself strategically in order for the short man that is Zacchaeus to be able to have access to the storehouse of grace and mercy that was found in Jesus Christ. And the Bible then says, when Jesus looked at Zacchaeus, now, now take note, Zacchaeus had climbed a tree. Jesus in Luke chapter 19 had not yet taken up his tree and that is to say the cross of Calvary and therefore the tree is, is painted perhaps typically as an extension something that lifts up men but these men are elevated and lifted up for different reasons Zacchaeus is lifted up in order for him to see Jesus Jesus at the cross is lifted up in order for men to be able to see the Lamb of God the Bible then tells us that when Jesus looks at Zacchaeus he says Zacchaeus come down the Bible then says Zacchaeus listened and as he came down listen to the instruction for today I must come and supper at your place as they left Take note how the Bible points us to men that are quick to focus on who Zacchaeus is, forgetting in whose presence he was. And this is human nature, that some of us are so quick to look at men based on their conditions and become blind to the new position that they assume once in the presence of Jesus Christ. Zacchaeus turned his back on his past, but take note, the people did not forget. And therefore Zacchaeus continued to be labeled as a sinner even when he was in the presence of Jesus Christ. As if to say, there is something that, 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 that happens when we come to Christ. In our coming to Jesus, we come to him, but sadly files are not deleted. People do not forget what we have been. People do not forget the decisions that we have taken. But it does not matter how they label us. The only thing that matters is how he has found us. The manner in which he has found us is not the manner in which he leaves us. Zacchaeus is in the presence of salvation, irrespective of what other people might be saying to him. He is saved, he is safe, and he is free from all the things that he used to do in the past. And yet, they still continue to label him as a sinner. Labels will come the moment you, you, you take the decision to come to Jesus. But you're not saved by labels. You are saved by Jesus Christ.